you have detention in the morning. Some some classes do that. Oh, you get to read. You get to read. Miss Leon. Miss Dunce. Must I be forever burdened with this nonsense? Wait a minute. He did a dance for him to make him stop. We don't know what happened. We just know they left the room. For all we know, he could have, like, took him out into the room and threw him out a window. <laughs> Be like, get out of this! <laughs> then he's like, ah, uh, you again. Oh. Since you are both being punished for the same offense, you will receive the same punishment. Now uh, give me your hands. <laughs> no, I like my fingers. You point I love them. fingers. <laughs> He points to the tables where two very large glass jars filled with pebbles are sitting. You will each take one jar. You will take out each pebble individually by hand. You will place each pebble on the table for forming <laughs> two separate stacks. Uh, I'm imagining now like, yes, good. More pebbles, yes. <laughs> As he rings his Two hands. stacks. Yes. Like. Two stacks of pebbles. Only two. Fresh from the <laughs> jar. Uh. Making a total of four. After you have moved each pebble, you will write down the total number of pebbles that were in the jar. You will then return all the pebbles to your jar by hand. His turn on is mathematics. <laughs> he's like counting and he's like, oh, yes. Oh, his father's the count. And the fingers, I don't know. I he's have, not a vampire. <laughs> I have ways of detecting whether or not each pebble has been touched. Do not attempt to, sh to shirk. These ways of, de of detecting is called eyes. I will watch you. <laughs> Do you understand? Sure. And if you count, if you count us off, or you attempt to pocket any pebbles, I will lock you in this room with no food or water until Monday. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. <laughs> I, don't, I think he's obviously joking of the smile, but it, like, I'm like, will he? <laughs> Get on with it. Get on with it. I want to watch so bad. He stalks out of the room, closing the door behind him. I... And looks through the window. <laughs> no, he's, he's got like a hole drilled behind a picture in the wall. And he's like, that's the stuff. <laughs> and it's like, Professor Grabner, what are you doing? Ah, detention. You know? <laughs> oh, pebbles. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of this? Boredom? That's all. Great. Sorry I got you into this. You didn't. It was my decision. Mm. I mean, it wouldn't have been right to let them think you were trying to hurt me when you weren't. Yeah, well, I knew it was going to be busted for it. And I didn't want to... I didn't want to warn... <laughs> and I didn't warn you. Yeah, you can't stop and be like... <laughs> Like, to cover your blunders this time. I, I only do that sometimes. <laughs> no, but, but Sometimes it's, it's on purpose. But it's great, because it's it's so good for that guy. <laughs> yes, it's such a good cover save. I know. If he knew he'd get into trouble, why did he do it? Well, ask him. I sit across from Donald and smile at him. Mm hmm Don't you get tired of being in here every Saturday? Hey, you noticed. I actually like Mr. Grabby Pants. He's like a friend. Notice what? I just told you <laughs> that I'm here and not over there. Well, that's sort of obvious, isn't it? You'd think. Beg your pardon? Oh, sorry. For some reason I thought he was saying that. He leans back <laughs> in his chair and smiles. Good enough. Do you have any brothers or sisters? You know, I actually got yelled at from someone at work for saying pardon. Weird. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it was, I forget who it was. 
I, I just know it was not a manager. They're just like, who's his partner? Like, Tim? Don't He's you like, use them fancy words around here, boy? Pretty much. I'm like, who? They're like, who, you, who says pardon? I'm like, apparently I do. <laughs> sorry, like, are you getting all sarcastic enough? with me? I'm just like, I'm sorry that you're not cultured enough. Oh. And they're like, what? What's and that mean? That's like, when you got fired. Oh. <laughs> uh, so many lives. Oh? <laughs> no. Do you want them? I lost track of the conversation a little bit there. Uh, oh, do I want siblings? That's right. Uh, are you offering? <laughs> do that one. <laughs> no, no. I like being an only child. No, I like being an only child. I never have to share my toys. <laughs> I know you and Virginia don't get along, but what about William, your brothers? You must have a lot to share. Huh. You know, what you asked me earlier, William never asks. Which thing I asked you earlier? He doesn't answer. The silent moment stretches. In the distance, I hear footsteps echoing down the hall. Hey, Rain, do me a favor. Again. Okay. Ask William what he thinks of me. And with that, he turns his head back to his work just before the door opens. Grabby's back, so I better act like I'm paying attention to my assignment. Dot, dot, dot. At the end of the day, I have counted and recounted 432 pebbles. And my neck hurts. <laughs> yeah. But at least I get to leave. walking along, minding my own business, when suddenly I feel a gentle touch on the back of my head. I turn around, but there's no one nearby. Then I notice something white drifting to the floor. Paper? With a few long strides, William crosses the hall to reach my side. Whoops! Sorry about that! He picks up the paper airplane and winks at me. It was supposed to go over your head. No problem. Now that I've run into him, I have, a, I have a chance to ask him something if I want. Well, he did say to ask for him, so... But what about Ellen? Oh, man, I have to choose... Oh, and, and Damien. Oh, god damn it. Can you, can't you just ask all of them? <laughs> like, he's obviously not busy if he's just throwing things at people's heads. <sighs> I say go in order as we receive them, so do Ellen, then Damien, then Donald. Yeah, th that makes sense, because, like, Ellen's scene where she's like, it won't date me. It's like, first. She was crying, man. She was crying. Yeah, we gotta stick up for Ellen. Yeah, so. Don't let a girl cry, unless it's your so, girl character. If, if this is the only time I can ask him, Donald, I'll just uh, Actually, save lie. Game. Save game. Save game in case we can only do one, and then we just come back and see what they all are. Uh, okay. And then we make our decision. We're gonna do it the cheaty way. Oh, yes. Well, then, do you want to do the other ones, since I really want to just do Ellen's? Sure. Because that's the one I'll probably go with. Let's ask him about Damien first and see if we can get him all angry. Okay. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. I realize what this is. You just want me to read all the voices. <laughs> it's about... Sure. Because <laughs> it's just going to be me and him. <laughs> Whatever. Right. It's about Damien. What has he done? He bought me delicious cake. And then yeah. dinner. <laughs> he hasn't done anything. Is it true you used to be a falcon? Oh, he told you. He shrugs. Yes, Damien and I were close briefly, a long time ago. And I did some things I regret. It was a mistake. It was never serious, and I should have known better. He was trying to date him? Close. Wait, you were dating? He didn't tell you. But you did. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't call it that. There was no relationship. Nothing really happened, and when we had a fight, I changed halls. What did he tell you? That you were spying on him? And that you attacked him? I was trying to find out more about the boy. I... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it matters if you've been telling everyone he's evil for years because you're embarrassed about what you did to him. What I did to him? Look, it's ancient history. I know the signs wrong. Ah, I know the signs all right. I've been there, and I've seen it again and again. He's got you under his spell, and nothing I say is going to make any difference. 
I'm not under any spell. Don't get your hopes up that you're going to be the one who changes him. Everyone thinks that. Look after yourself, okay? Whatever. He shakes his head and walks away. All right. That's what right. we you ask about. Do one. Yeah. Uh, now we'll ask about Donald. Yes, ask about the duck. <laughs> this is sort of a silly question. Do you and Donald get along? Huh? Sure, why? Well, see, I've never had a brother or sister. My friends at school, sometimes their sisters were best friends, and sometimes they couldn't stand each other, or they were always competing. Virginia talks about you all the time. She really looks up to you, and she relies on you to know how things work. Is it like that with you and Donald, or is there some kind of secret masculine bonding thing? Well, I can't tell you about our male secrets. You? No, Donald's... Donald's his own guy. He'd rather solve his problems himself. Like his problems with his sister? I don't get involved in that. You mean you're not on Virginia's side? There's no point in taking sides. If she told you there's always the... If she told you that she's always the innocent one, don't believe her. They're each as bad as the other. But you like Virginia better. What is she up to this time? Huh? Nothing. Tell her I love her, but I can't get her out of her homework. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about Virginia. I'm trying to talk about Donald. What? Oh. Oh? Well, I can't tell you much about that. I've only been at home with them for the summer these past few years. Donald's never told me about any special girls. You... Actually, if he thinks I've got a crush on Donald, that might be a good reason for him to give me an honest opinion. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, what do you think of Donald, really? He's not a bad kid. He just got too much energy, and that's what gets him into trouble. It happens with a lot of wolves. If he were willing to work hard on anything but pranks, he could go a long way. A steady girlfriend would probably be good for him. I certainly wouldn't complain about seeing you together. Uh... But I'm not the one you have to ask, am I? He ruffles my hair. Don't worry, I won't tell him you said anything. Good luck. And then he's gone. Hmm. All right. So I guess that's what you do to get on the path of uh, dating that one? Possibly. All right. And now the one that we would keep. Yep. Ugh. Sorry, burp. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. Ellen really likes you. Ah, uh, right. Look, I like Ellen. She's sweet. But don't take this wrong. You guys are still really young. For me to be involved with her in a romantic way wouldn't be right. I'd be taking advantage. Like Damien is. Uh-oh. We are not romantically involved. I know it's none of my business. Just be careful, okay? You're a good kid. You deserve to be happy. So does she. A lot's going to change for you and Ellen in the next few years if you stay here. Stay? What do you mean? Well, you're both wild seed. Sometimes people with wild talents decide they don't want to be in the magical world after all. You and Ellen and Virginia are just getting started. I'm graduating at the end of the year. I'll be gone. Think about that, all right? He tweaks my nose, grins, and goes on his way. He's got a point. Yeah. Should have just told her that, though, instead of being like, it'd be like dating a sister. Because that's just it, like... It could be two things. <laughs> I guess it could be two things, but... I don't know, man. That seems like a... <laughs> I don't know. Dick move? A little I'm bit. I'm sorry. A little but bit. But just because you are just happen to be roommates with my sister, I suddenly don't like you. Because, <laughs> I mean... I kind of had that situation happen, and I didn't really like the way I handled it, but, like, I didn't really? I didn't lie. Yeah, there was, like, some freshman girl that had a crush on me, and I didn't really know what to do about it, because I was going to graduate, you know? And, like, you know, I didn't, I didn't go, like, it'd be like dating my sister. Like, that just seems insulting to me. I don't know. All right. I saved the game, right? It'd be like dating my sister. I hate my sister. <laughs> Let me tell you how I got these guys. It was all her fault. <laughs> Rachel. No, um. Uh, Harvey Dent. Can we trust him? 
next week. Um, Rain? Yes? Do you like theater plays? I don't know, why? Well, the drama club is doing the Medea. Med 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 Medea? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> this week, and I was wanting to go see it, but I don't want to go by myself. Oh, are we going on a date with Ellie? No, you're friends. <laughs> What's Medea? I say you do it anyway, because you couldn't do the thing with her before. Yeah, totally. And, you know, I want to totally see... I'd, I'd go see a play. Me, I like, personally. I'd be like, shit, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my too. It's a classic Greek tragedy. It's about a witch whose lover betrays her and the terrible thing she does for revenge. I'm gonna take notes and plans. It's like foreshadowing? <laughs> Maybe. That doesn't sound very nice. That's why it's a tragedy. You're doing it Friday and Saturday night. I was thinking I'd rather go on Friday. Is it free? No, it's five dollars for students. Oh, we can oh, afford. You pay for both. We can afford that. Yeah. So, do you want to come? Yes. Sure. All right. Thanks. I better figure out what else I'm doing this week. 